for an endurance athlete, I think that the value of nutrition can't be, uh, can't be overstated. And the way that we always talk about it is really in, in three different channels, all of which sort of come up and make up the big bucket of nutrition. And uh, those three channels are the nutrition itself, so what you're eating in daily life, your breakfast, lunch, dinners, and daily snacks. And I always think about that as your foundation of health, making sure that you're getting the right type of calories at the right time to give you a platform of health so that you can get, then go and train. The second channel that we talk about is your fueling. And I really like to dissect what you're doing in your nutrition, your, your regular meals, and what you're doing in your fueling, which we always talk about the calories that you're taking in during and immediately following exercise. For me as an endurance athlete, that's the most important thing to get right. The calories that you're taking in during and immediately following exercise, because that not only provides the calories to support the training that you're doing, it also facilitates recovery, it diminishes unnecessary stress that is the big part of the sort of overall training equation. The third channel is of course hydration. One of the most misunderstood and understated parts of, uh, of the nutrition bucket as an athlete. And of course, uh, hydration comes as a part of your daily life and then also what you're doing during the actual training and following the actual training. So that's the way that we look at it. I think that if you have to, if you push me into a corner and said, in the nutrition bucket, what is the most important thing that an athlete can get right? It's very hard to provide a, uh, a true answer to that, but I would say immediately following exercise, ensuring that you get fueling, is probably the thing that athletes miss the most and is the greatest value to facilitate recovery and make sure that, the, uh, that stress is limited and they're set up for the next session. So post-workout fueling is, for me, the number one thing that we focus on.